Hey, hey, my name is Laura. I'm from the University of Hohenheim in Germany and I study the NV Euro program Environmental Management in Europe currently at SLU. What makes studying in Sweden and particularly at SLU so special for me are the flat hierarchies. So I feel like the students' opinion is as much valued and appreciated as the professors, which I haven't experienced so much in Germany. And I also really like the proximity of the university campus to nature. The river is close by and the forest and the lake. And uh, I feel very comfortable in this environment. Uppsala is the fourth biggest city in Sweden, but still it has a very cozy feeling like a village. You can go everywhere by bike and the river, which is in the center of town and also close to the campus, connects basically everything and gives it a really, really nice feeling. I chose this program because it gives me the great opportunity to study at two different countries and um, get to know two different cultures. And at the same time, I got the chance to specialize in water resources, which I think is a very interesting and crucial topic for the future, because water is one of our most valuable resources. And um, during my master thesis here, I actually could look at groundwater contamination at Arlanda Airport. And I think it's a great opportunity to get to know the Swedish approaches and compare them with the approaches that I know from home and combine also the different knowledges of two countries and get to finalize it in a thesis that is valued in two different countries. Studier mit uns an den ls universitäten My home university is SLU Uppsala, but this year I'm enjoying my exchange year here at Buku in Vienna. Uh, my name is Anna Arnfeldt and I'm, I'm an exchange student from Sweden and uh, I study now at this university Boke and I study landscape architecture. It is a great location here. Uh, you have a big park uh, next to, to campus and uh, there's a lot of uh, different courses here and they all are pretty small so you get the chance to read a lot of courses with different topics. Uh, the ELS Network is a big opportunity to meet new people from around the world who are ambitious as I am about life science topics. So what I love about Boku is the close contact of students and professors, the focus on interdisciplinarity and sustainability. Vienna is uh, a great city. Um, you can do whatever you want to do here. You, you have the, the opportunity to be yourself everywhere. There's a lot of parks and green areas in Vienna. And there are uh, like yeah, very nice old buildings everywhere. Inform them about it and um, perhaps encourage them also to go abroad and to study abroad. The special thing about Boca is that it's uh, not too big. So I like the familiarity of the campus environment and uh, that you can walk around and meet friends without really planning it. I study landscape architecture, uh, which is a profession where you have to use the physical environment. And uh, in the project courses, you have to really get down into the, to the site where you're working with. And I think it's interesting to see the difference between uh, the Austrian sites here and the Swedish sites. Study with us at the Yale's universities. Hope to see you soon at Boku. Yeah, my name is Helena. I come from University of Copenhagen and now I'm studying as an Erasmus student in Wageningen University. I got accepted here in the spring and after a few months I got a mail from the university 
uh, offering me accommodation here. Uh, and in general, university has been really helpful with everything, with guides on how to register at municipality and guides of how to get around the university and with the housing and everything. So, so coming here has been really easy, especially as a, as a Danish student, uh, since the Dutch culture is not that different. So Wageningen has uh, quickly become my home away from home. Uh, what is special about studying in Wageningen is the international community of the city and also that it's kind of a small city but everything in Wageningen is designed for students. I really like uh, how all the uh, classes are built up. It's both an interactive classroom and lectures and a lot of lab work and you're on the same level as the professors so there's no uh, problems with ever asking questions or contacting them directly. The structure of uh, the lectures and the classrooms are really similar between Wageningen and the University of Copenhagen, so that's really nice. Since we're so many students, there's a lot of uh, opportunities for doing different kind of sports and stuff, and also doing different kind of classes, like I'm doing a Dutch for Beginners class. I chose to study food science and technology because it's, for me it's a very exciting uh, field. There's always new things going on and there's always new things to discover, so it's never boring. I'm specializing in the field of fermentation and microbiology. Uh, I really like that because it's a rapidly developing field and I think people are really starting to open their eyes for all the possibilities there is within fermentation science. My dream is to work uh, either at a university or at a company in some sort of research and development. That would be really nice. One of the big differences between studying in Wageningen and Copenhagen is that Copenhagen is a capital and therefore a big city, whereas Wageningen is more of a small city. Uh, the good thing here is that you always meet people you know everywhere. So, uh, so that's really nice, whereas uh, in Copenhagen maybe you get more of a, of a nightlife and big city life. But uh, I don't think Wageningen is boring or a sleepy town because of that, because we're so many students, so we make it our own. How about Seedai Wageningen? My name is Jan. I study agricultural and environmental economics at Wageningen University and currently I am doing an exchange semester at the University of Copenhagen at the Faculty of Science. I heard about science at the University of Copenhagen through some of my fellow students in the Netherlands. They were really enthusiastic about the university and about the city, but also one of my professors actually advised me to come and study in Copenhagen because education here appears to be very good. The Faculty of Science is part of the ELS network and this made me quite confident that coming here would actually mean that I would be able to complement the knowledge that I learned at my home university uh, in Copenhagen in another city, in another environment. I like this faculty a lot because uh, the atmosphere is very informal. So lecturers and professors are actually really willing to help you and they take a lot of time to help you. Also the atmosphere is really international. They are used to having international students in their classes and the Danes really switch easily from Dan Danish to English, which is very nice and feels like homecoming being an international student. I think the facilities on the faculty are really good. The campus here is not too, uh, too large, so it's really easy to go from one building to another building. The buildings are quite old, which yeah, creates a very good atmosphere. And there are a lot of workspaces, there is a nice library. Um, so in that sense, I think the facilities here are really good. Living and studying in Denmark uh, is very attractive uh, as it comes to the social aspect. I think the Danes are a little bit reserved but really nice and if you really need them they are always willing to help you. Also the atmosphere in the city is very international, it's really easy to get to know people and also the introduction program that the university offers uh, makes it really easy for you to get to know a lot of international and Danish students. 
um, uh, also a lot of being organized in the city and by the university. For instance, the Friday bars that are every Friday on several campuses. It's really fun to visit with some friends. Chin dobre. My name is Natalie. I'm an international master's student from the States. I'm studying with the EuroLeague for Life Sciences program, specifically the EuroOrganic International Master's program. This is a program based on organic agricultural systems and agroecology. I started my studies in Vienna, Austria at the University of Natural and Applied Life Sciences. There I took courses like soil ecology, soil fertility, farmland ecology, um, contemporary issues in ethnobotany, as well as crop rotation systems and systems analysis of these agricultural systems. This is an international program where you must transfer the second year, and I chose the University of Life Sciences in Warsaw. So as it is required to transfer and do a specialization at another school out of the five participating institutions, I compared my interests in the social, social connection between agriculture and communities. And Warsaw offers the specialization in organic food quality and marketing, where I can take courses such as sociology of nutrition, uh, preventative nutrition, uh, ecological aspects of food and nutrition, and much more. Warsaw is very beautiful and a modern city, but it does have some lots of rich history and older buildings. Uh, the university is an example of that. The university is the oldest agricultural university in Poland, as well as 25,000 students go here. and. It's an interesting campus with modern buildings as well as older classical buildings. I'm happy to be in Warsaw and studying at SGGBU because I have multiple opportunities to further my understanding of the relationship between organic agricultural systems and society. I would love to find sustainable solutions to the rather complex industrialized food system and I hope to see you in Warsaw. Hi, my name is Aaron Kaczmarek. I am from Polish University of Life Sciences in Warsaw. I chose studying here because the program Economy and Management is closest to my uh, subject interested here. Uh, the best thing uh, which I can say about it, there, there is a big variety of subjects. So everything I can choose is close to my mind and easily I can choose the best option for me. I could choose two subjects which are, uh, wasn't my first option, but they are very interesting. For example, real estate of transaction and economics. That was the best because I could uh, match it to my master thesis, which is great. And second subject, it was economic of brewing industry. According to Polish market, which is also big, but not as big as Czech, I could choose this subject as my part of interest here. I must say that this university is one of the biggest and one of the most, the most beautiful place because there's a big campus which is best option for students to introduce each other, to make new relationships and spending time here is one of the best experience in my life. Uh, both studying in Czech university, university of Life Sciences, I find a lot of opportunities to extend my mind, to broaden my mind, because I can see that many people are open. Czech people are the best people because Slavic nature is one of the kindest nature uh, in the Europe. Uh, the more thing, it was, uh, I would say, block teaching. It's something new because it's intensive course and of, co of course prepares for uh, working under pressure because in five days you have to prepare your information, you have to prepare your project, and it's a great opportunity to challenge yourself. I must say Prague is a box of surprises. Wherever I go, big street, small street, I can find everything. Museums, uh, concert hall, 
sports game. Uh, of course, a lot of puffs, but it's not, not the biggest value. Of course, the biggest value is to know other culture, Czech culture. There's a lot of great buildings, old time, of course, old, old castles, Kratczańska, Marstrańska garden, which I could saw a lot of beautiful things and it's a great place to relax, sit and think about different great things in future, of course. And study elsewhere and study at EuroLeague. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm from Czech Republic and I'm studying at Czech University of Life Sciences. I'm studying Master and I'm studying Horticulture subject. I chose Germany as a country where I want to study and Hohenheim was number one in agriculture studies and also the campus is very beautiful. My name is Sophie Champon. I come from Ghana and I'm a student at the Czech University of Life Sciences where I study a Master's of Science program in um, tropical agriculture. I'm specializing in um, sustainable rural development in the tropics and subtropics. Currently, I'm an exchange student at the University of Hohenheim under the ELLS program. I aspire to take future career in rural development and in Africa where improvement in agricultural production and marketing is seen as a tool for poverty alleviation. I would choose German's best agricultural university to develop my skills and knowledge. So why wouldn't I come to Hohenheim? I made a lot of friends because we have a project together in five uh, people and also I attend a lot of courses with my new friends. I'm trying to practice my German with my German neighborhoods and also my German friends. We are doing a lot of practical training outside. We regularly went to the fields to recognize and determine the fields and also the plants. And we also went to Orchard for this university and it was really interesting to look at the, all the species from apples or etc. fruits. I think Hoyingham is extremely international in the sense that in our various classrooms you can count as much as 20 students from different parts of the world and sharing in their experiences and skills is much important because it helps you to also understand their uh, perspectives and that's all it helps in the learning process and I'm much more excited about the fact that the lecturers also have international feel. They understand um, students from all these backgrounds because they've been to these places, they've done research in all these places. And so it's good for it's the cultural diversity over here is just superb. I love it here. I feel at home already. My favorite spot in Hohenheim is definitely the botanical garden because I love plants and trees and this botanical garden is really huge. When I'm walking through the botanical garden, I'm mostly hugging the trees <laughs> because it's calmed me down and also trying to determine the trees. I love the beautiful gardens and um, I normally love to spend some quiet time and um, anytime I just walk through the garden and um, reflect and have some beer with me always. <laughs>